It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my game playing as the German, Greater German Reich. Well, for the great. We'll see how great we get. Anyway, we finally pushed back from Florida and uh, did a bit nice, decent encirclement. We've got a lot of divisions to defeat, though, so this is going to be an uphill battle. We're going to wait for some existing divisions that are coming in by sea at the moment. I'm a little bit nervous that might get intercepted, though. There doesn't appear to be any enemy ships. No. We have, for the most part, eliminated all but, well, in this case, one enemy ship. So right now, we're in a really good spot when it comes down to uh, taking out the rest of the enemy forces. Yeah, it's it's interesting playing late game in Waking the Tiger because it's a little bit different. It's actually a little more challenging than I expect. And normally, what happens with me with late game Hoi 4 is you kind of get a little bit bored. You kind of become a little bit like, oh, I'm so strong right now. I'll never get defeated. Um, yeah, and in this instance, I've... Uh, have but i'm kind of surprised how strong the ai is still you know so it's kept me on my toes if you know what i mean do you know what i mean do you know what i mean all right ukraine we can ax them and ax them we just got to get some more pps so in that case we can finish all of these yeah there we go and then we can just concentrate on repairs we have a lot of repairs that we need to do as well And at this point, too, there's absolutely no point um, not using our fleet, so we will use it. Where are they? Oh, these are on do not engage. What? What are you thinking? You here, 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 here. And you're here, and you're here. He's doing that really weird bug. Oh, I think it's because he's staying in place. Oh, no, they're coming to each other. No, it's okay. Merge. Merge. There we go. And then now you're going to go on here and here and here. Combo rating. Nice. Perfect. Get rid of you. Good. Oh, where's my divisions? Where are they? Oh, great. We're almost maxed out here. Nice. And I'm not sure if this is in my head. I've not tested it. Maybe I should test it. But I always seem to build more than one port. And I always think to myself, well, if I have more port capacity... Sure, they'll divide the supplies per port, and that's very logical. It, it, it would make sense in the real world, but this isn't the real world. This is Hearts of Iron 4. Will it work like that? I'm not actually sure. Okay, 24 divisions. We've not lost any by sea yet. We're on the way. Spain has landed into Canada, which is nice to know. What's their participation in this? I'm curious. Cassis Belly against Switzerland. Do you think we should annex Switzerland? We've got any spare divisions lying around. Oh, I've totally forgotten about this. I would love to be able to smash into this and encircle it. That would be so funny. Mm, maybe one day. Canada, United States. Here we go. A lot of people ask about this. So they've lost 13 million. Uh, we've lost 2.8 million. Total of 7 million for the entire side of the axis. The only side that isn't independent is Spain. And Spain uh, oh, is a major power as well. Okay. Oh my God, look how many are capitulated. Oh, that's actually cool. So, all oh, right. Oh, wow, that's so awesome. Why have I just discovered this? There you go. We can actually see the major powers now. Look, the majors, Canada, United States. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, so what we're looking for is their war participation. They have a 20% war participation, which is insanely high for what little they've done. <laughs> All right, where's those tanks? Are they here yet? Oh, they're actually attacking into me here. Let's have a look at the damages they're doing. Well, not too bad. But the defense on our divisions is insane. Mechanized have got some really high defense, so they'll be able to hold this back. The relative ease. And we'll start bombing other areas to prevent. Oh, oh, the overruns! Okay, absolutely demolishing them. We'll probably whip around here and do that. 
in here. So one of the beauty of mechanized on their own is they've got really good speed too. And they don't suffer as much from terrain penalties as well. Oh, look at this pocket, boys. This is a beauty. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, before we capitulate Canada, I'll have a cheeky look at how many casualties we've caused. Because these are pretty high. Sneak land to New Orleans. Go here. And encircled instantly as well. A lot of these divisions haven't got low strength either. They're still fighting pretty fit. Maybe the AI is merging divisions. Maybe that's what they're doing because that's a new ability now. So you can merge divisions. Where is that button? See ya. Yeah, maybe that's what they're doing. That's the reason why the divisions are at higher strength. They're just merging all the divisions that they've got. Which is good for me, because there's less divisions then. And it also means that I get bigger encirclements. So that's always nice, too. Okay, we're about to take Washington, maybe? Oh, it's a level 10 fort. Maybe not. Oh, let's bomb it. I don't think nuking anymore reduces stability. Maybe it's classed as just bombing for war support, maybe? I'm not sure. It just doesn't seem to be having as much of an in impact. Interception 3.60. Okay, so you do get more war support by shooting theirs down as well. So that's always also very nice to know. Alright, the next attack is going to be into the north. Everyone's going to wiggle around and move now. You can't adjust this front line... Because this isn't a precise front line, this is just a rough guideline that the field marshal's given, so you can't adjust it. Usually you'd hold control and wiggle it around, but you can't do that. And the supply is beautiful. Perfect supply. Alright, can we make a push on Washington, please? That would be that would be good. Are we really struggling here? Okay. It always seems like on day one the the initial push isn't very effective, but then all of a sudden they all collapse on themselves and Washington has fallen can reduce the autonomy of Ukraine to annexation yes let's do that select all those divisions and delete them there we go the fall of Washington they're currently at 39% it doesn't look like nukes reduce capitulation rate anymore it doesn't seem to be a thing anymore no. Alright, go. We need more divisions on this front line now, too. Hmm. There's not really anywhere we can... I can't believe this. At one point, we had so many forces concentrated into such a small area. We're having trouble with supply. Now it's the exact opposite. We have, like... Not that many divisions, but they're all kind of spread around the world. Well, I guess we still have the same amount of divisions. They're just spread around the world, aren't they? We never really did change to modern infantry either, did we? One thing that's really bugging as well, when you annex a nation, you get all their templates. Cavalry template with a fist. <laughs> okay, I guess that's a suppression division. Oh, I don't actually have MP. I don't have MP research, so that means I would have got AP for MP for free if I use that template. That's one little cheeky trick that you find in a lot of mods too. Well, the front line doesn't seem to be breaking, which is good news. I've secured Chicago. AI is going to take advantage of the fact that my front line's thin as out now. I know they are. Yeah, I know they are. We need to get more divisions on the front line now. Every time we attack now, even with a single division, we're doing a lot of damage. Breakthrough is the most humane way of winning a battle, guys. But with Breakthrough, we don't even need to fight. We just shove them out the way. Just give them a gentle push. All 
right, we, uh, oh, I guess we could just, it looks like the west flank has completely collapsed. So in this case, we could just skirt around and grab all those cities. We've got some insane speed too. Ooh, San Diego too, I think so. This is going to capitulate USA, I know it is. There's too many victory points I've lost now. They're all concentrated on the west and east coast, and if we grab them all, it's pretty much over. Well, saying that... Um, yeah, they've lost them all. That's okay. Los Angeles should be the end of it in San Diego. Yeah, USA has fallen. Rest in peace. And go here, and go here, and go. Can't use stuff off his plan because it requires too much PP. I want everyone to get into position first. Um, are we bombing? Yeah, sure, bomb here. Oh, the minute they arrive, they bomb six buildings in one day. They're using rocket interceptors as well. They're actually really effective because they do really high damage, but they've got like ridiculously short range. I think it's the speed that helps them intercept as well. It doesn't actually say that in the tooltip about speed being useful for interception, but if you think about it, it actually would be, wouldn't it? Because you've got to launch from your landing pad or airport or landing strip, whatever, and then take off and then catch up with the bomber to intercept it. So I imagine speed would be important. Maybe it's a hidden stat in the game, they just don't tell you in the tooltips, maybe, I don't know. Canada, have you got any divisions? You have one. Ah, one! Okay, so let's make this really, really easy on ourselves by doing this. Because this is always where the Canada, Can Canadians, the Canadians, this is where they always go at the end of the game, guys. They always go into the deep, deep Arctic regions of the north. So let's just capture them now, stop that from happening, all right? All right, let's delete that front line. And let's go here. And aggressive. And go. Okay, they were already on aggressive, so never mind. So interesting, mechanized don't suffer any attack penalty into hills. They in fact attack get a a bonus. We do suffer a bit of a penalty into forests, though, and hills too, which everyone does. Well, they would still suffer a, a penalty due to the terrain being a penalty. It just means they don't get any kind of bonuses or detriments by attacking hills where tanks do. It's a way of nerfing the tanks. I guess can we be a little bit more aggressive? This is taking a little bit longer than I hoped it would. Come on, Canada. End this. Can we take Vancouver? That's the question. What speed are they traveling at? 3.3 kilometers. Due to large river, low organization, deep snow, infrastructure. So many things working against them, boys. But our brave German SS Himmler divisions are doing splendidly. Oh, they've got, still got divisions, haven't they? Canada! Is it over? Is it over? Is it over? No way. So the major powers now are Australia and South Africa. I, is that due to the fact that I took out America? Somehow. Do you think? Do you think that had some kind of impact on... I don't know. Regardless, we're going to have to move everything over to here now. Guys, did you think this was all over? You were totally wrong. If you thought it was all over, you were totally wrong. All right. Got the bombers. We're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go here. here, here. Oh, we actually got—we haven't got the range to bomb Eastern Australia. Interesting. All right, so there's a few things I have to take care of here. There's because what could happen is that they could recapture all of America again. So I need to be aware of that. Yeah. So not only do we have to attack, well actually what we could do is just leave these divisions behind. 
Yeah, so this division now is the Defense of America. We can tell you guys to go here. And then the other Himmler troops. Himmler's level 3 right now. Still hasn't gained any traits though. Oh, he's gained a few. Oh, he's gained a few. Take it back. What about Rommel? Oh, he's on his way too. Okay, that's cool. Alright, okay. I'm actually being surprised. Surprised. Alright, okay, great. So, we're at war with Australia and South Africa. So, do we make an offensive here then? I guess we could, couldn't we? It's risky this because these divisions could move down at any moment. Oh, don't move the camera, thank you. Uh, yeah, they could reinvade the UK here. It is a potential risk, this, but whatever. It is a potential risk, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna take that risk. I'm pretty certain that this guy on his own probably should do a good job of taking South Africa by by himself. Yeah, I'm actually confident he will. Actually, what we could do is convert these divisions. Can we select all of these and turn them into mechanized? And these are all. Oh, actually, a few of these we could turn to tanks as well. A few mediums as well. Yeah, we're going to have to work on the infrastructure too. Yep. Oh, we can build the infrastructure up in the middle of the desert. I think that has an impact on supply, but I don't think it actually has any impact on whatever's there. Because you can't build any factories there, so there you go. Alright, so you guys are going to make an attack, and you are going to puncture your way into South Africa. Now I think about it, this this field marshal is really good, because he's a logistics wizard. So this guy is really ideal for this invasion that I'm planning right now. Huh. Divisions that I will never need, thank you. Okay, we can do something about Hungary and Romania. I'm gonna do this. Before it was a lot more organized, but we're getting near the end of the game now, so I think we should just uh, wrap up. You guys are moving across, that's perfect. And we need our navy. Which we can move over to here now. Okay, so do you think we should invade through the Dutch East Indies and then to Australia? Seems to be the usual path we normally go for, isn't it? Where's Rommel? Do we have to worry about any ships around here? I don't think so. Yeah, so we can... Oof. We'd have to go to here. Then around to here. Nah, that's okay. We can do that route. That's okay. Alright, a few of you go here, a few of you go there, and off you go. Eastern Canada supply issues. There you go, fixed. There you go. Don't complain once again. It's all done now. Seems to take a lot of time to reinforce now, don't they? Is that somehow based on training time, do you think? So I think maybe they've nerfed the ability of switching out templates too frequently now. Because it seems like these divisions are taking an incredibly long amount of time to switch over. Huh. Yeah. That is a bit of a bummer. Because that delays our ability to attack. Uh, get rid of you. Why can't we disband this division? Why? That's weird. Oh, we can now. Okay. Why was the icon greyed out? Okay. Okay. 
All right, there you go. Clean up. Is this a separate tile here? No, it's not. Got him. Rommel? We're here. All right, how are we going to do this? Oh, United States has invaded Japan once again. I think that's the third time, isn't it? I think so. Uh, okay, so... Whew. Enemy ships. Ah. Okay, in that instance, we're going to have to go to Vladivostok. And is there any ships around here? No. Yeah, we're going to Vladivostok, go around the whole of China, go to the bomb, go to Singapore, then launch an invasion. Which looks like the, the Spanish are doing the job for us, so that's good. Right, do staff office plan. And go. Oh, we need some air control here. I realize we've got no air control. Okay, where's our Rommel? Where are you? You can't actually click you because the buttons are in the way. There you go. And then you guys are here. Shit, I'm going to do this. Oh, it's here. This is the right one, isn't it? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be on the way now. For some reason, this is blocking. I don't know why. That wasn't there before, was it? Oh, it's because I've... Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing something a bit differently this time. I'm not sure. Wow, these guys are really dug in. I've got decent defense, too. Yet again, as I said this a million times, the initial push is the hardest because you've got to break the entrenchment. But once you break the entrenchment, it becomes a lot easier. Alright, we're going to push here, and then here, and then here, and then swing around. And then another one here. All right, there we go, and that's it. And now we've destroyed their front line by not only breaking their entrenchment, by also encircling their entire armies. Uh, at this point, the front line should cripple and fall apart now. This is pretty much the remainder of the Allied forces anyway. And they're dead. They're dead. What? There's no supply here? I need to take, the, I better have to take this state in South Sudan. Bet it'll give me access. No. No. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> okay. Alaska supply. Here we go. Done. I'm really nervous of creeping forces in America because if they re, they recapitulate, they uncapitulate a nation. I'm gonna have to have a lot of work on my hands getting that back. Yeah, you guys are on the way. That's good. Why is this class isn't a capital? Capital? Is that the capital of Britain? The Ethiopian capital? All right, you guys in position now. There we go. Oh, I forgot actually. I have to shift these to the top because I'm building forts inside of. I'm building forts inside of um, Hungary and Romania, aren't I? Are we good to go yet? We're on our way. Oh, Romania's almost done. I'm going to need more political power, though. Staff office plan. And go. Here. Mm. 
Okay, good. Himmler, uh, Hitler is in position now. What, Himmler and Hitler. And I want you guys to railroad to Singapore. And they're going to railroad. That's good. Okay. They all had a heart attack then. If they were going to do something different, that would have upset me. Oh, we're doing some decent bombing, I think. And we... Yeah, we flattened them. <laughs> no, we've totally flattened them. Spain's having a little bit of trouble, though. I can't believe we've not got the range. I can't believe we can't make it all the way over. Wow, I thought that... God, guys, I thought strategic bombers were like the gods, you know? Literally, strategic jet bombers were like the, the bee's knees. I was wrong. Alright, so we've still banned democratic pies. Communism, we're still getting a little bit more. It looks like the more f control you have on your government, the slower that your like fascist reformers or democratic reformers take to shift you towards the center. Yeah. Oh, that's the, uh, the African guy, that isn't it? He's become injured. All right, gonna have to stop. So infrastructure maxed and a few airports too. And are we close to annexing Romania? We can, but not so much Hungary. Good. There we go. All right, I think we're going to need more divisions here. There's not enough to make a spear. We can probably slowly grind forward. We'll probably do a lot better. Uh, actually, we need to get some close air support. I think that's what we need here. We didn't dump all on we? We have got a few. It's really old models, though. No, oh, I don't know. We've got some new ones. Oh, we have got new ones, because these are ones we've stolen from, I think, from America, haven't they? On oh, the Junkers, Junk J U is that American or German? I don't even know. Regardless, we've got control now anyway. Hang on a minute, we're we building Washington. Oh yeah, we did say we we're building. Uh oh yeah, I remember we did like a swipe across the country, didn't we? Okay, I'll get rid of those. And then we go here. You guys are all good. We maxed out Hungary yet. Almost. Losing about 10 points per day. 9 points per day by looks of things. Alright. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a struggle. Oh, there's actually some divisions here already. God damn, we've had these divisions here so long. I've just completely forgotten about them. Yeah, we've had these divisions here so long. Spain's having a little bit of trouble against the Dutch East Indies. The Dutch East Indies are pretty strong. They've got a lot of oil. They've got a lot of uh, aluminium, rubber, and also got a lot of population too. They're definitely a nice nation to play as. All right, can we make a push here into the mechanized? Take Eritrea. Yeah, there we go, got him. Where are you going? Oh, they're retreating here. Alright, let's go. Looks like we are having a little of impact. Okay, we can annex Hungary. Go, Hungary's ours. We can get rid of those now, which is good news because that gives us a little bit extra production we can play with. Get rid of you. Oh, look at all these extra divisions. Boom, they're gone. Oh, look at all the manpower. Damn. It's perfect. All right, you guys are pushing forward still. 
Struggling a little bit. Hmm. It's not a lot we can do about that, though. Alright, do that. That's fine. And uh, we could probably make these just basic infantry, too. They don't have to be commandos or anything. Alright, amphibious invasion here. And then here. Could have planned for this a lot farther ahead, but we probably won't send all the divisions immediately. We'll send like two mechs, make a landing, and then just immediately go go at them. We managed to intercept anything here? Not really. I think supply issues, there's no way we can get that any higher. I guess we could build a port here, maybe. Does everyone have logistics? Yep. Yep. Do we have logistics maxed? Yeah, we do. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Why aren't you going? Do we need to have control of both sides? Why are you going? Insufficient intel for the Straits of Malacca. Here. Oh. Oh, right, okay. Well... I, I thought I had control of that, but I actually don't. He seems to be on the other side of the world. Okay. Oh, he is going that way, but he's going to have to go all the way around the world. Because we don't have control of the... Uh, the... What they call it? Canal? just thought. I was thinking Suez, but it's not Suez, is it? It's the Panama. There we go. Yep, we're going to have to go around the world, so we'll arrive there next. Next up, Australia. In South Africa, we are slowly grinding it anyway. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. And I hope you have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.